Thursday Thunder on a Friday. Yep. <laughs> Fabulous Friday. <laughs> we couldn't film yesterday because Ari had the man flu. Yeah, has he feel, how's it going today anyway? Oh, he had some 24 hour bug. Yeah, not sure if yeah. it was um, food poisoning or gastro mm. or. Was he bleeding out his eyes? Well, he must have been bleeding out of his eyes because he didn't go to work. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here on a Friday. Yes. Friday the 10th. I've already gotten a few messages. Of September. Thursday, no, August. August. Or our season. We would have been at ICN already. Yeah, yeah. that's right. All right. With cool. three and a bit weeks. Four, four and a bit Just weeks. Just under a month, yeah. Four and a bit weeks out from the comps. Season B. Mm -hmm. It's getting exciting. Entries are coming in. We've hit by this top. By the time this goes to air, we would have had over 50 because we're just under 50 now, and I'm getting about three or four entries a night now. Well, that's good. Hmm. So exciting! I think it'll be a big season. Lots, yeah, hopefully. Lots of competitors. Adrian. Yeah. What's been happening? Not a lot. No. I've given up on my vertical diet, by the way. Oh, really? It. I. Reason being is I like garlic. I like onion. And that's like two things you can't eat on it. Oh. And then if it's solo, I'm like, nah, I need, it gives flavor to everything. So I just think you eat what you want. Well, I'm, I'm doing a fad diet. Yes. Trying out. Yep. So day two. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm doing intermittent fasting. Yeah. And I just started because I was at the shop the other day and this guy came in and was talking about how good intermittent fasting is and how much weight he's lost and yeah. it was awesome. And everything and I, I I sort of said oh you've lost weight because you're in a calorie deficit because you can't fit all your meals in yeah um, during the day during your eating, eating time. time yep and he argued that he's getting all these meals in and it's just because he's fasting that's causing a metabolic change etc so I thought all right I'll try this yeah so I'm, I'm doing the same as what he was doing so basically I am eating between 10 uh, between about 12 30 p.m. yep and 10 p.m. so that's my eating window so nine and a half hours yeah so yep. I'm not eating after 10 a.m. and uh, between 10 p.m. and 12 noon yeah all right so let's say that um, so this is day two and I've got a coffee here because I'm starving yeah you would be. <laughs> I've had nothing to eat today so what are we what are we at now we're at um, just on 12. So by the yeah. time we finish this filming up and everything and I pack up and everything, I should be able to have my meal, yeah. which I'm looking forward to. Um, so it'll be interesting. So what I'm trying to do is still get exactly the same meals in, the same amount of food in yep. that I was getting before during the whole course of the day, which started at about 7 a.m. and finished at 10 p.m. Okay. So I'm jamming now all those meals in between around about 12 noon and 10 p.m. How are you feeling so far? I've got a headache because <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> but he said, and, and a lot of advocates of intermittent fasting say that after a, a few days, your body gets used to it. Yeah. And you get, and which I agree, your body gets used to everything you mm -hmm. give it. So um, I'm going to do this for a couple of weeks and see what happens. So I, I did weigh myself. I took body fat measurements and things like mm -hmm. that uh, on Wednesday morning. So we'll see what happens and I'll report after week one next yeah. week every week just keep yeah. it keep where you're at yeah so um what will be interesting though is if we happen to train in the mornings mm. because i really have always struggled to train on an empty stomach yeah 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 i've so, always wanted i always needed something in my stomach even in the mornings when we train i will have breakfast i'll have oats or something yeah. something in my stomach well last so, week my my training suffered a friday morning on deadlifts because i didn't eat yeah, and then later that night I did it again, and I did what I wanted. So, so, so it'll be interesting. So I will report on that. Um, if anybody's got any tips on intermittent yeah. fasting, let me know, and we'll see how it goes. Look forward to it. Mm. So, half an hour to go. <laughs> Not counting or nothing. Half an hour to go. Yeah. All right. Um, I saw a thing today by our good friend Dan from Dan's Gym. Yes. He put up a post about. Um, a little video about how people, what happens during um, unstaffed hours in 24 hour gyms yeah, yeah. and um, he showed on his video that someone had tied a skipping rope between 
two pieces of apparatus at about head height and he was trying to work out what it had been used for. Yeah. And, but what was really funny was how the skipping rope at one end had been tied into about 50 knots. <laughs> Was it but it was a plastic skipping rope, so it's not as if you could hang shit off it either. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he was trying to work out. You came up with the theory that it like, could have been someone practicing boxing. Yeah, movements. like dodging and weaving. Yeah, yeah. They weave. I've seen that. Yeah, yep. weaving under a rope. Yeah. Now that could have been it because it was at about that height. Yeah. And it was in his functional room where they these boxing mitts. Like you just do that without using anything. Just envision mm -hmm. it. I don't know. So there, there, Dan. That's really most really problem confusing. solved. <laughs> yeah. But that got me thinking about some of the weird stories and weird stuff we've seen on our cameras. Yeah, there's been a fair bit. After hours or in the morning when we came in. Like you came in the morning the other day and what, all the benches? Yeah, all the benches were like congregating in one section of the gym. So all the benches had been moved and jammed into the one. Yes. Did you have a look on the camera to see what this guy I, was doing? So he wanted a, he, someone wanted a, obviously a big area free. I, well, it, technically it wasn't one person. One person moved the bench. And then another person moved the bench, and then they stayed there, and then another person moved the bench. Okay. So moving all to one side to do like incline. Yep. But they all stayed there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I found, I found a sock once. Yeah. Like one sock. Yeah, that's right, one and sock. And that was in the, near the dumbbells. <laughs> someone traced it. So it's it like up. someone took off their shoes and socks and forgot to put one sock back on. And nobody <laughs> claimed it. Yeah, like, I remember that. Yeah. I also found a bunch of toenails. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit disturbing. That means yeah. during mid-set or after so they take the shoe off. Well, he was. So I looked up the camera and this guy took off his shoe and then proceeded to peel his toenails off. Like, he didn't use... He didn't have toenail clippers or anything with him. He just used his fingers and he peeled them all off. But he left them in this little pile on the floor. Well, these are in a pile, you know. Yeah. So, um... Why? <laughs> a tough one, place, one night... I, every now and then, because we, we can access the cameras on our phone, so yeah. one night uh, at home, uh, late at night, I just, every now and then I look on the cameras, yeah, anybody so, in the gym? Some way, you know, and um, you always see, there's always some guy right underneath the camera, because mm -hmm. there's a good mirror near one of the cameras, yeah. and he's stripped down to his jocks posing, Yeah. so that's, that's a pretty common thing. Um, one night I saw a guy trying to drag the hammer strength um, Plate loaded preacher. Preacher curl. Yeah. Now this this piece of equipment, it must weigh over a hundred. It's kilos. What, about hundred kilos. You need yeah. two people really to pick it yes. up and carry it even a short distance. Now, he was trying to drag it from its position towards the dumbbell rack, which I presume is because he wanted to have it in front of a mirror. Yeah. But there was a normal preacher. Yeah, right there as well. Normal preacher there, which was just your normal bar, you know, yep. easy curl, easy curl preacher, preacher bench. bench. But he obviously wanted to use the hammer strap. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now he spent no shit twenty minutes, I reckon, trying to drag this piece of equipment. <laughs> now, where it was positioned in in between the pieces of equipment, it wouldn't have fit through there properly no. without him having to move other stuff. And he sort of then gave up, but then he left it where it was, <laughs> which was sort of in the middle of the aisle yeah. where people walk, you know. So then I checked back a few hours later, and um, it was still there, and the people that were in the gym were just walking around it. Yeah. I mean, I understand it's our job to keep everything clear, but it's not its not hard to, you know. You think someone would go, I'll just move this out of the yeah. way because it's in the middle of the aisle. Yeah, yeah. But, but it was funny. So, I, yeah, we see that sort of stuff. Yeah, I've seen some guy trying to like Shaolin Kung Fu in the boxing bag and it was like yeah. really bad, but it was yeah. funny because literally the night I'm laughing and my, my, yeah. I'm like giggling. There was there. one night I watched in the mirror and someone had taken a piece of chalk out of the chalk bowl. Mm -hmm. and used it near the bench press and it was on the end of the bench press um, and it was just sitting there on the end of the bench press so then I checked back on the cameras a few hours later and someone had obviously then just went to use the bench press and flicked this chalk yeah and he flicked it onto the mats so it was in the middle of the floor again in this major walkway yep. where everyone walks and I then had a look and there was people in the gym and they're walking around and they're walking past the chalk, yeah, and walking. I'd be yelling at my phone going, pick it up, <laughs> pick up that piece of chalk, and yeah. put it back into the bowl, yeah, they stopped. until finally some dude stepped on it. Yeah, and they're like, well. And then mashed that chalk into the ground, and then left chalk footprints 
through. And that was a fun. But day. that was between between the moment I saw the chalk on the end of the bench to when the guy stepped on it was most probably about four hours. Mm. So I stayed there for a long period of time. Someone yeah. stole our outside camera. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> the was, only theft we've had. It was two dudes carrying a big bag of dog food. Dog food, yeah. So they'd gone to, the, and this was about 6 a.m. too, so the gym actually had a lot of people in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You know, so anyone at any one stage could have come down, but they were walking along um, the top of the road and they obviously saw something. They came down to the gym, guy pointed at the camera, there's a camera there. Yep. So he tucked the dog food into his pants. Yeah. In front, remember that? Yep. And his mate got on the ground on his hands and knees. Yep, and they used him as a step ladder. Yeah, and then the dude walked up on the step ladder, his face is right in the camera. Yeah. And he's jamming at it, and then all of a sudden he goes black because when he ripped it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, followed by the amazing comment of check the camera, see where he went. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> right. I can't. He took the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Someone actually commented. Yeah. Did you see where he went? No, because like he took the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more in the coming years. There's going to be a yeah. lot more. It's, yeah. it's just fun now. Yeah. yeah. There's lots of posing happens though. There is. Late, yeah. late at night. Yeah. Lots of checks of the abs and things lots like of, that. Lots of Instagram shots. Yeah. yeah. And it's usually right under the camera. Yeah. It'd be really good if actually we had a microphone and a speaker system that yeah. we could talk into the camera. Because then I could have yelled at these people, pick up that piece of chalk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, who said that? And, yeah. They were just looking to give like a speaker mm. system, like a microphone setup. <laughs> um, anyway, moving later on, the the final contest for the season we're on, the pro bodybuilding season we're mm -hmm. on the weekend. Um, um, the Mr. Olympia list has now been set. Yep. Um, so the last show was the Tampa Pro, and that was won by. Um, um, it wasn't Sergio Oliver Jr. It was a guy. No, Alexis Riviera. Yes. Yes. I'd never heard of this guy, but he has been around for a few years and finished second and third in this contest mm -hmm. in previous years. So, but he looked really good and he beat Sergio Oliva Jr. Yeah. Um, so, the, the, that was the last pro show. So, the 2018 Open Mr. Olympia list has been set, and we have got William Bonac, Brandon Curry, Nathan Diasha, um, Big Rami. Charles Griffin, Phil Heath, Dexter Jackson, Steve Kuklo, Michael Lockett, Cedric McMillian, Ju Juan Morel, Sergio Oliva Jr. He got in on points. Yeah. Because he had a couple of seconds. Uh, Lucas Osladil, Os 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 Sean Roden, uh, Alexis Riviera, Justin Rodriguez, Ian Ballier, Josh Wade, and Roly Winkler. Mm -hmm. As we're speaking about Roly Winkler, Ari put up that freaky picture of Rolly that's been going around. Yep. So uh, if Ari does his really editing job, there will be right now a picture of Rolly Winkler on the screen. And here's a picture of Rolly Winkler in a hat. <laughs> Where he looked incredibly yes. freaky like five, six weeks out. Mm -hmm. um, there is also a picture of Flex Lewis, which Ari maybe will put up right now. Yep. If, I hope he does that. Yeah. And here's Flex Lewis's cat. <laughs> and uh, Flex Lewis, uh, we'll talk about that yeah. in the 212, looking nuts. Um, so yeah, so that's the list is all done. It's actually a... a, a it's a good lineup. It's this a year. good lineup of people. Yeah. The top six will be interesting. So over the next yeah. couple of weeks, we will do our... Predictions. Predictions. Yeah. Um, well, can we just get out of the way? Phil Heath is eight. Well, Phil Heath is going for his number eight. So. Yeah. Um, I'm still going to say he's going to win. Yeah, if, if, if he, something drastic happens, like yep. loses an arm, he might lose. Well, he's had his hernia fixed, he's had yep. all the problems that he had last year fixed, and he won then. Yeah. With these little hernia issues and, and everything, and his supposedly distended stomach, which I didn't really see that much of anyway. But we will talk about in the next couple of weeks, as the show gets closer, we'll yep. put up our predictions. Now, the 212 list is interesting as mm -hmm. well. It so is. So that is out. So I'll just quickly go through it. We got Ahmed Ahmed. What if that's his <laughs> name? So nice, he has yeah. to say it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Mahud Dura, Sami Hatad, Ahmad Ashkanani. Yep. Jaffa. Go on, say that one. Gaffa Mahaza Raza. <laughs> Ga Jaffa G. Yep. Alex Cam Bronco. 
Hardy Shupa. Now, Hardy Shupa has qualified, but yep. he will not be there because Just, of Trump's yep. immigration laws. Um, he will not be there. doesn't matter what everybody says they're petitioning, he will not be there because if Trump doesn't let in renowned brain surgeons, he's not going to let in a pro bodybuilder. No. no. Unless he's a fan of pro bodybuilding. No, actually. <laughs> it would be cool uh, to see. Sean Cl Clarida, Ricardo Correa, Charles Dixon, Kamal El Gagni. That will be interesting. That's that Kamal, that guy who made his comeback at 40. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Ahmed El Sadani, David Henry, James Lewis, James Flex Lewis, yep. Derek Lunsford, Dwayne Quamina, Jose Raymond, Craig Richardson, Samia Trudy, Nicholas Vuliard, and Shane Watson. There yep. is so many names in there that I don't know. Well, I've been. Some people have been putting up Nicholas Vuliard. He the looks last insane. Months. Yes. And he didn't even win the show not to it. Yes, he ago. did. Yeah. And he yep. looked skinless. So. Yeah. He's definitely but, up there. Um. Flex. Flex put up that photo, which I already will put up again, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, and he looks nuts. Now, yep. Flex is doing, this is supposedly his last Olympia. Two, his last 2 1 2 Olympia. 2 1 2 Olympia. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if that goes ahead with. But that photo of Flex, he looked nuts. And that yep. was six or seven weeks out. Yeah. Yeah. So um, even if um, Hardy competed, I don't think he would beat Flex. Mm. No. So again, we will do some. Um, Predictions on that. I'll research into a lot of these guys. There's a lot of these guys here, um, they qualify through a lot of European shows and mm. things like that. Yep, so yep, I'm yep. not really familiar with a lot of these people. Um, yeah, so that will be interesting. Okay, we had a couple of questions. We did. Someone asked about ZMA. Yes. Benefits? Benefits of ZMA uh, improve sweet sleep quality, uh, great for muscle and muscle nutrients sort of thing and about and it's also been shown to increase test levels at rest but yes. yeah uh, dosage dosage it doesn't really say there's actually no set dosage really pretty well all it. zma zma is a painted product yes so your zma that you're getting you should have a paint mark on it mm -hmm. and then pretty well the dosage will be exactly the same in all of them yeah and in that it's three capsules to give you that unique combination which is 60 milligrams of vitamin c 30 30 iu of vitamin e 10.5 milligrams of b6 450 milligrams of magnesium 30 That's milligrams it. of zinc yeah so that that is the painted zma formula yeah so you take it at night mm -hmm. hence the increased testosterone at rest and increased quality of sleep as well and yep. Uh, is it beneficial? Yes, I think it is. Yes, a lot of people are, yep. are deficient in zinc and magnesium. They reckon that up to ninety percent of men in today's day and age is deficient yeah. in zinc because apparently sugars draws uh, zinc and magnesium out of your blood, and so does dairy. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, it is beneficial. Yep. So. The only only thing is that, that they reckon you should not have dairy with. ZMA. No. So if you're having it at night time before you go to bed and you're having say a casein protein, uh, it could be that it's not gonna no, do it. It's gonna be zinc. pretty much pretty rough redundant after. Yeah. yeah. And too much zinc can kill you, so there you go. Yes it can. Yeah. And it is apparently um, that's why ZMA zinc dosages are really regulated yes. in Australia. Yes, they are. Companies can only <laughs> put a certain amount um, into any product per dose mm -hmm. um, to prevent uh, overdosing of yeah. zinc. Um, so beneficial, yes. Yes. Take it at night. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's a painted and blend that follows that rule, which is which is B6 10.5, magnesium 450, and zinc 30. Yep. That is your painted formula for ZMA. Mm. And it's relatively cheap as well, which is great. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So this one here, we got Z Force by Dimatize, it's 25 bucks. And you've got uh, 30 days in there. Yeah. Take it every night at bedtime. Three capsules. Cool. That's it. Uh, can be used by women. Yes, again. Yes. Uh, we've talked about this before, but we shall do a quick overview. Uh, same sort of question, but laxogenin. Yes. What is it? What laxogenin is, is a plant-based steroidal saponin. Now, not a steroid but it's steroidal saponin derived from Chinese asparagus. Um, what laxogen has been proven to do in mice at certain dosages was increase protein synthesis and decrease muscle protein breakdown. So you can build more muscle. Yep. Is it beneficial? It can it's be. It's a relatively new product. Yes, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, there's no human trials. No. Best way to put it. 
but if you're a mouse, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's starting to become a quite popular it product. It is, yeah. Um, again, can be used by men and women. Yes, men and women can use yep. this, it's very safe. Um, it's not cheap though. No, it it's is not. It's not a cheap product. Uh, dosage, um, this one here, what do they say on this one? 100 milligrams? One capsule, here we go, here we go. 100 milligrams. Um, take one capsule two times a day with meals. Yep. So two capsules a day. Um, again, 30 days, but it's not cheap. You're looking at around 99 bucks. Mm -hmm. So, and there's not many companies that do it. No. So we sell the Redcon One Halo, mm -hmm. available online and in store. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's just move on to new products. What's coming? Specials, etc. So new. New product is ATP Resilience. Yes, this is the third pillar of health. Third pillar of health in their health range. Yes. We will do a review on this following this video. Yep. So just keep an eye on that. But basically that is now available in store. It is $69.95. And they are tabs. Tablets. Yeah, so yep. unusually little, this, I, like the, I like the packaging. They yep. don't have a good job with the packaging. Yeah. Yeah. So in essence, without going into a full review, which we will go into, so good luck with us because Again, like ATP products, it's a very difficult yeah. product to review, but we'll tell what we'll it's try about. Try our best. But in the end, it is an immune support product. Yep. So it's a general, everyday health product for everyone. In a nutshell, if you have a um, uh, immune property problems, mm -hmm. uh, you tend to get colds and things like that easily, this could be a product for you. If you feel a cold coming on, uh, again, another uh, designed to take that to yep. help uh, fight and kickstart your immune system uh, with a strong immune si response to get rid of that cold, exactly. etc. All right, but we will do a a little bit more yeah. in-depth review. It's the best of our knowledge. Yes. Yeah. Um, otherwise, check out ATP podcast. Mm -hmm. They've got a couple of resilience podcasts yeah. at the moment, and ATP on YouTube as well. So you yeah. can watch these podcasts if you don't want to listen to them. So just uh, in YouTube, just do a search for ATP Science and you should find that. Mm -hmm. Now we've done a special stack. So we've done the three pillars of health stack um, at the moment. So a gut right, mm -hmm. a multi-food and a resilience for $169.87. Yep. That's 15% off the normal price, which would be $199.95. So it's a good 30 bucks off. Yeah, it's a good, and it's a good stack. Everyone else should yeah. have it. Yeah, so this is a good health stack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So what else have we got here? We've got a new we've, product coming from Maxis. We've got, all right, we'll just talk about the SciTech Way deal, yes. which is our special online deal only. Yep. All right, or at the Millswood store. So Ari has taken this deal as himself. Mm -hmm. So Ari will put up the little graphic for it now. So it's basically buy a five pound um, or two kilo Cytec Whey, Cytec Kip Whey, and you get a free 900 gram casein. Yeah. Free. There you go. Free things are nice. Yeah. yeah. So pretty well for 99.95, you get your Whey and you get a free casein available online and in store at Millswood only because this is Ari's special. Yeah. He's anyone, he's anyone who has casein. Yeah. yeah. Should ask him some casein. That's right. <laughs> and Max says, and Maxines have released some products, new mm -hmm. products, which are either in store or coming into store. Yes. Some of the stores have got their stocks, others are coming in. So it's a capsule range. So there's a CLA capsule, 100 capsules, a Cetyl L carnitine, 100 capsules, and a branch chain amino acid. Yeah, people, get, people ask, ask me a lot for BCAs. Yeah, yeah, some people don't like taking the powders and yeah, things which like is, that. Which is, yep. I can imagine that, because it doesn't taste the best. No, no. So they're really good prices. You're looking at $29.95 for the CLA, $34.95 for the carnitine, and $29.95 for the BCAs, which was a 10-1-1 ratio. Yes, yep. Yeah. In the Maxine's range, you've got the same products. We've got the carnitine and the CLA in the same prices. It's $34.95 for the carnitine and $29.95. Now available online, in store at, if it's not in store now, it will be within the next couple yeah. of days. So um, Ari's got them in store. I think Jason's getting them yep. today and you will be getting them on your next shipment. Good. That's it. Yes. Product Spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
What are we talking about today? Oh, yeah. We will talk about acetyl L-carnitine. Mm -hmm. Especially, we are moving into the end of winter uh, and moving into the fat loss stage yeah. of the year. Yeah, spring. Yeah. But, I am a big fan of acetyl L-carnitine. Yep. Me too. Um, basically, it's carnitine, but it's acetyl elated. Acetylated. Acetylated. Yes. The basic difference is that it crosses the brain barrier. Yes. It, yep. cr it crosses the blood brain barrier, producing a potent neurot uh, neurotransmitter yep. called acetylcholine, exactly which translates right. to choline. Uh, very good for brain synapse firing and does a really, uh, mm. overall alertness and mood. All right. Yeah. So, what does what is carnitine? Carnitine is an amino acid. Yes. Its function in the body is to transport fat into the mitochondria or the furnace of the cell where it's burned up for energy. Yes. Hence, it's very popular fat burner. Mm -hmm. Non-stimulant. So you would take carnitine dosage about three thousand milligrams, three grams, about half an hour before exercise, yeah. for the fat burning effect. Mm. But it is also, like we said, a nootropic. Yes. So you can do the same thing before exercise and use it as a nootropic. You can add it into your pre-workout to increase the nootropic effect and to increase the fat burning effect. Yes, and it's also good for people who do long study sessions as well. Exactly right. Because you do want that little bit of mental alertness. I have a swimmer, long distance swimmer, who uses acetyl L carnitine, not for fat burning, but for nootropics and says yes. that it gives her better concentration doing lap after lap it after would, lap. It would, definitely. Yep. Yeah. So, but I did a search on acetyl carnitine. Yes. And it does a lot of other things. It does a lot of things. Uh, I got a big list here uh, of it was what first, carnitine does. It was first introduced to Alzheimer's patients. Exactly yeah. right. So, that's, one, that's of one of the first things here <laughs> improving memory problems in elderly people. Yeah. Um, improving memory in people who use alcohol excessively. So, if you're an alcoholic, Take some carnitine. Smash that in with the yeah. port of bone. <laughs> All right, it's been shown that it reduces nerve pain caused by diabetes. Huh. Treating Pyrone's disease. Do you know what Pyrone's disease is? I've heard of it, but I don't know it. It's a, a, um, a bend in the penis. <laughs> <laughs> what? Which, which can what? be painful if you get an erection. <laughs> Stop having sex around right? corners. So, it's a connective tissue disease in men. Right? Oh, wow. Acetyl L-carnitine seems to be more effective than a drug called tamoxifen for reducing pain and slowing worsening of the condition. Isn't tamoxifen also like a... I've, don't some bodybuilders use it for like... I've heard of it. It's like a drug that people use in cycles. Moving right along. Huh. Treating male infer infer inf infertility, infertility caused by inflammation. Yep. Uh, treating symptoms of age-related testosterone deficiency, hence male menopause. Uh, improving blood flow to the brain, yep. hence the cognitive. Um, treating Alzheimer's disease. There is also some evidence uh, showing that it helps in depression, depression, muscle weakness caused by medications, mm -hmm. Down syndrome, thinking problems, well again that Yes, the cognition. Yeah, the cognition. Yep. yep. Cataracts. Huh, that's unusual. Yeah. But so you like put it in your eye, or you take it? No, you oh, take it. Shoot, yeah. <laughs> so dosage. How much dosage to? Uh, an effective dose for fat burning and good mental clarity and thinking is three thousand milligrams. Yep. Three grams. Three grams. Which, if you are using a powder, generally, if it doesn't have a scoop, this one does have a scoop, and it's, it's a one gram yep. scoop in this one. So you take three of those. Or if you do a, a rounded teaspoon, generally a level teaspoon is about two and a half grams. Mm -hmm. So if you do a rounded, slightly rounded teaspoon, you'd be looking at about that three yeah. grams. Um, so yeah, for sports performance, um, for fat burning, 3000 milligrams. Um, so there's all these dosages here for memory loss. Memory loss, 1500 to 2000 milligrams. Um, Alzheimer's are up to 3,000 milligrams. So generally, all of these dosages for those conditions that I mentioned is anywhere from what, 1,500 to 3,000 milligrams. Yep. So if you take three grams, you're gonna be safe. And that's a pretty well a clinical dose. Um, that's it. So a very versatile, a very cheap, mm -hmm. cost-effective product to yep. use. Whether you want it for 
uh, mental clarity and clear thinking or for fat burning or for both. Yes. Yeah. Um, where every time I was prepping, I would add acetyl L carnitine into my pre-workout. Yeah, I would add it. I'll add it. Yeah, and that's a good way to take it. If you are using a pre-workout, put some acetyl L carnitine, three grams into it. Some some companies already put acetyl L carnitine yeah, yep. usually into their fat burners slash pre-workouts. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't surprise me if some guys, some companies start putting it into their general. Yeah, definitely. I would. For no tropical Anyth properties. Anything that's gonna, you know, cause your brain to fire quicker and yep. give you more mental alertness, it's good in my books. Yep. So if you want a good um, non-stimulant pre-workout, as in a nootropic, set all the kinds Yeah. Yep. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now we've got a special, we're gonna do a special on a product spotlight. Okay. So you will only pretty well know about this special if you're watching or listening to this. So uh, we will apply a discount code to our three main carnitine products in our store, which is your ATP acetyl L carnitine, your EHP Labs acetyl L carnitine, and our Gentech Nutrition acetyl L carnitine. You want to get a 15% discount? At checkout, write the code carnitine. 15. Ari will put it up here, lowercase carnitine 15, and you will get a 15% discount. Now, that code will only apply for about 48 hours. Yeah. All right? Whether you get one or two or three, doesn't matter. At checkout, apply the code carnitine 15. That's it. Good. It's funny, every week I think, what are we gonna talk about? And, then it, and we ran out like we used up all the yeah. time on one of our recording. Mm. I will add one more thing about carnitine. Yes. It comes in lots and lots of different types of variants. The acetyl one is what's been proven to prove, improve cognition. Yes. But carnitine and acetyl carnitine both convert to each other. Yes. So all carnitine can be converted to acetylcarnitine, but not the same rate. No. Pretty well all the carnitines you see now on supplement stores are acetyl yeah. carnitine. Yeah. Um, there is no benefit, and I've looked into this. There's, there's carnitine tartrate, carnitine fumarate, yeah, carnitine exactly malate. Right. It's, yeah. it's insane. There's it, like twelve. It, they all work the same, mm -hmm. but the acetylated version crosses that brain barrier. Yeah. It's superior. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, Check it out yeah. next time you're looking at adding a new supplement in. That's it. Thanks everyone for tuning in to this week's Thursday Thunder on a Friday. Mm -hmm. um, we'll catch you guys next week. If you've got any questions, keep an eye out for our Thursday Thunder posts on Facebook and on social media, Instagram, etc., where you can ask us any question yep. and we will try to answer it. Mm -hmm. We'll be back next week with more news and a new product spotlight. Even if you want us to feature a product on spot, product spotlight, we yeah, can do that know. as well. Let us know. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.